We recently introduced soda taxes in the UK. Many other countries in the world have similar types of taxes that aim to reduce the amount of sugar that children are drinking. Children around the world are drinking shockingly high levels of sugar and uh, we're, what these soda taxes are trying to do is to reduce the amount that they're drinking. So the question we really want to know is, will it work? Will sugar taxes lead to a reduction in the amount of sugar that children drink? In order to answer that question, we need to understand a couple of things about the way that children take decisions over what they drink. We need to understand how much they like sugar in drinks and how much they'll respond to prices. What we do in our work is use new data and new methods that allow us to um, follow individual people over time as they take decisions about which drinks to buy. We look at how changes in prices change the, their choices over drinks. From that, we can understand better how they respond to prices, how much they like sugar, and it will allow us to understand how that will lead to different choices in terms of what they drink and in terms of the amount of sugar that they get. We find that the tax is likely to be very effective for young people. While young people really like sugar and they like fizzy drinks, they don't like paying the higher price. So they shift away to other drinks or to other types of foods. That's not so true for older consumers who like sugar a lot. Those consumers are willing to pay the higher price. <laughs> <laughs>